So now that I've got those two Razor scooters running, I thought, you know what? I know I intended to get two out of the three Razor scooters running, but hey, can I actually get that other, that larger Razor E300, can I get that running? So I've pulled it out. Now, as I showed you uh, earlier, someone um, has certainly messed with this um, scooter. It's had the speed control taken out, and it had this relay in there, and the speed controller I, I got in the box of bits and pieces clearly looks like it's uh, it's just stuff. So anyway, looking at this, I've uh, been looking at this relay and I've kind of like plugged it. And if we look in close here, you can see that it's got, uh, got uh, I hope you can see that it's got 85 and 86 is the uh, activation part of the relay. Um, and then with the shunt, it's got the uh, 30 to 87. So around the back here, I'll just show you what I've done here with these connections. I've got uh, 85 and 86, so these two here. And I kind of think what I want to happen is I want those to connect up to the throttle trigger. So if you trace through here, and then up all the way, you can see that connects onto the, the throttle up there. So I've connected those up there, the 85 and 86, um, coming onto the um, the actuator part, and then, well, okay, what I'm gonna need to get, these are 24 volt motors, so I'm gonna need to get 24 volts um, going onto the drive motor. So I've connected then the one side of the motor onto the relay, um, and then the other side's gone here, um, so, um, these, these, uh, motors, these, uh, motors 24 volts, so the batteries are going series. The other thing, because it's actually a, a 12 volt relay, what I've done with this wiring, you can see I've, I've kind of hooked up the power to go up to the, um, controller. Um, so it'll just come off one of the batteries. So you've got 12 volts to power, um, and then this is effectively the jumper lead to go between the two batteries, between the plus and the minus. Um, and you can see one of the, this, this wire will, just, um, will be the um, exciter side, uh, which will then just pair up with um, one battery. So basically it's going to be the plus and the minus there on those two, the jumper across to the other battery, putting two batteries in uh, series, and then we'll get 24 volts going through the relay. So I'm going to uh, um, hook the batteries up now. Uh, I've got a couple of uh, small batteries laying around. Um, and yeah, let's see what we, how we go. Up here, so as I said, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to uh, send the 12 volts up um, to ignite the relay. I've got the jumper across, and then I've got the power straight to the um, battery on that one. And then this one here is actually going to run through the relay. Only trouble I can see is I've actually made this lead here a bit too small. I suppose I can turn the batteries around um, and then I've actually got, if I turn this one around, I can get the relay in there like that. Those, those wires down there. Then I can hook the, the 
battery over there like that. So that should actually then, we've got everything wired up correctly, that should actually um, make that back wheel kick. Um, probably what actually, what I'll do is I'll just lean, if I just lean it up and kick it down, we'll see what happens. So clearly it's working there, however, um, there's uh, the motor's spinning in the wrong, wrong, wrong direction there. So in order to rectify that, I need to swap it around so we've got the positive and minus uh, the other way around. The simplest way to fix this will be to simply to swap over, I think the connections that are coming straight in to drive the motor. So I'll just swap them around the other way here. So then, I'll just do the same thing. So there you go, Razor Revival 1, 2, 3, but uh, my son's out riding Razor number 2. Razor Revival, one, two, three.